Good morning, guys. It is uh, 5.18, and we woke up at 1, hit the trail at 2.15. I did not get a lot of sleep, maybe four hours, probably because it was hot, probably because it was still bright out, probably because I wasn't tired, and then like when I hadn't even had an hour of sleep yet, this wind kicked up really hard. We were shaking both of our tents really hard. But it finally died down and went away. Um, so, we are on the ascent to Trail Crest. Um, we should be there soon. We got, after this switchback, one more. There's Beth. We got one more switchback. I and mean, then we should be at Trail Crest. And then we will assess her, see how she's doing, and if she wants to, uh, and she's feeling able to, we'll summit. So, that's the update. Oh, well, we just heard rock fall coming from over there somewhere, near Hitchcock Lakes. Didn't see anything. Didn't sound super major, but definitely rock fall. Hitchcock Lakes. Jokers. I did it! How do you feel? Good. You drop your pack over by mine. So after uh, assessing Beth, I judge that she is feeling well enough to summit. So that's what we are going to do for my third time, her first time, and both were last. <laughs> Alrighty. So starting on the summit trail. Whew. So we came from that tarn above Guitar Lake, way down there. That's Timberline Lake. And I think way over there might be Forrester. I'm not sure. Alright. We got some elevation to climb to get to the top. Roughly a thousand feet. <sighs>
<laughs> Isn't that a pain? <laughs> Beth, there's the hut. Oh, wow. <sighs> ah, that sun's bright. Jeez. Nice. No, but it's a good view. Come look. What? This trail is something else. I don't like that we keep going down. It's just we're going up. <laughs> Getting to see your surroundings. Yeah. I know I'm getting really, clo really close to the hut, and for some reason I'm getting emotional. <laughs> I have no idea why. I know I did the last two times, but it's different circumstances. Personally, I couldn't have cared less the summit again. But maybe in general, it's just a uh, emotional experience. I don't know. What of you though? So on the way up the summit trail, which we're pretty close to the summit now, um, 
got to speak with a guy named Doug, who apparently is also a Christian. I mean, we definitely have some similarities of background and stuff. It's just really great to talk to him, and I like those conversations and finding people like that. And we're almost at the top. <laughs> Best on our way up right now. Ah, the hut has come into view. Thank you. You did it. I'm not crying, you're crying. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I know it was really, really hard, but you made it. You made it. And for some reason, the door is missing. I don't know how that happens. <laughs> and there's snow inside. There is probably because the door was missing, but I wonder what happened. Come on, Beth. 